created Adam and Eve, he loved them above everything else he had ever made. He gave them the most beautiful garden to live in and the tastiest fruits to eat. However, one day they disobeyed God's rule. God got angry at them and asked them to leave the Garden of Eden. They were very sad and felt sorry for what they did. I loved you as my own and gave you everything you would ever need. Yet you failed me by disobeying me. I am very disappointed in you. You must now leave this garden and live on earth. In the next few years, Eve gave birth to two sons. Cain was their firstborn and Abel was their second son. They loved their sons like God taught them to love. They both grew up to become strong and handsome young men. Father, Father, look! We have two newborn lambs. They're so naughty. Look at them. God has blessed your flock, Abel. You have taken good care of them, and they are healthy and thriving. I'm so proud of you. While Cain looked after the fields, Abel looked after the sheep. Abel was a kind young man who loved his parents and his elder brother. Cain was jealous of Abel as he grew up. He felt his parents did not love him as much as they loved Abel. Adam told his sons how he was proud of his sons and their hard work. He instructed both of them to offer a sacrifice to God to thank him and to seek his blessings. I will give the Lord our newborn lamb as an offering. I will give the Lord a worthy offering too, Father. I am sure he will be pleased. So be it, my sons. Get your offerings ready. We will offer them tomorrow at sunrise. Are you really going to offer the newborn lamb as an offering to the Lord? Yes, brother. I want to give my best to the Lord. After all, all that we've got actually belongs to him. It would be my pleasure to sacrifice the lamb for God. Listen, Abel, this is just silly. Have you ever seen God or heard him? Father is simply telling you all these stupid stories so that you behave well. Don't waste your newborn lamb as an offering. Place an old sheep that's about to die anyway. You will be wiser if you listen to my words. I am offering some dried up fruits that I was going to get rid of. I don't think that's the right thing to do, brother. We would be disobeying our parents if we offered the Lord anything lesser than our best. Whatever you do, I'm going to offer my best lamb tomorrow. The next day, Cain and Abel did as their parents had instructed them and placed their offering for God. When Cain placed his offering on the fire, the fire died down. When Abel offered his newborn lamb, the fire grew back to life and enveloped it, consuming it instantly. This was a sign that God had accepted Abel's offering and rejected Cain's. Adam asked Cain why he always looked unhappy. He told him to love his brother. He told Cain that God loved them equally. Cain promised his father that he would take care of his brother and love him always. Eve was worried about how Cain was constantly bullying his brother. She told Abel that although it looked like Cain was angry at him, Cain actually loved him and was only trying to keep him safe. Eve told Abel to love and respect his older brother and to be patient with him. Abel reassured his mother that she need not be worried and that he would always love and respect Cain. Eve was very happy to hear this. She felt lucky to be the mother of such a wonderful boy. I'm always here. 
never absent. I am whatever you see around you. I am raging. I am your Lord. Lord? How come I never heard you before? And why do you speak to me now, my Lord? I've been noticing you since you were born. I have seen your childhood. I have seen you grow into a man and go through your life. I know you, Cain. Your thoughts are troubling you. They do not make you happy. Why are you sad? Nothing, my lord. I am just tired and getting some rest after working in the fields. You can hide nothing from you can hide nothing from me, not even your thoughts. Make peace with your brother, brother. Make peace with yourself, self. He has never meant any harm to you. He wishes nothing but your happiness. I'm here to warn you. That you are straying onto the path of great evil. You must return to the path of righteousness and be a worthy brother and a good son to your parents. Go now. But the evil in Cain's mind grew as days passed by. One day, he decided to get rid of his brother. Why did you call me out to the field? Where are you taking me? Come with me, brother. I want to show you something. It's not far. We're almost there. They walked into the field, and Cain took him to a spot where he had tied up one of his brother's sheep. Cain's expression changed suddenly, and he asked his brother, You think you're wiser than me now, just because you seem to be everybody's favorite boy and God's chosen one? It doesn't mean you can be disrespectful to me. I have no reason to like and accept everything you do. Nobody will kill you, as I will place a mark on 
your forehead to warn whoever you come across that you cannot be killed. And for the rest of his life, Cain roamed the earth like a madman, horrified by the crime he had committed.